think outside the box and you know there are no real rules you know there's a good starting point maybe but the rules are meant to be broken hi everyone and welcome back to grow photography i'm carmen grow and i'm really excited today to bring you a brand new series of videos that i'm going to be producing over the next little while uh, which will be focused on the um, lessons in photography that, that can be gained from studying the work of some of the masters. And, uh, I, you know, over the years I've accumulated, um, y you know, a slew of books, photographic books that have helped to inspire me and uh, taught me lessons about photography and uh, helped me to shape where I need to go with my photography and the kind of things that uh, sort of excite me about the medium. And again, inspiration is such a big part of it. You know, we can talk all day about the technicalities of photography. There are millions of, <laughs> I don't have to tell you, there are millions of tutorials and, and uh, videos out there and blog content and et cetera that talk about all cameras and the technicalities of photography uh, and all of those things. I think there's plenty to be learned there and there's no doubt that the camera, the equipment is very important. Uh, I love cameras. You'll see I have a couple of my favorite cameras here. Uh, that's no doubt that we love cameras. But at the end of the day, really, photography is not about the camera. It really is not. When you look at a great image and you get, you get a feeling from it and, and it moves you in some sort of way, you realize that uh, the beauty of photography is about the image itself and what that final image says to you. You know, this particular series, I really want to focus on a body of work and a particular book that encapsulates everything that that photographer has to say about the art of photography. Uh, and uh, I, think, I think you'll really enjoy it. I hope you do. And without further ado, let's get into the work of Jean-Loup Sieff. Jean-Luc Cf was a um, photographer who worked for uh, Vogue and uh, Harper's Bazaar in Europe. He says he loved the spontaneous impulse and pure pleasure of just making pictures. Uh, and there's a lesson right there. I mean, uh, the only way you're going to create great photographs is by finding it needs to be true to you. You need to have find great pleasure in just making photographs and not not thinking about the outcome necessarily. I mean, the outcome, if the, if the joy is there, if the pleasure is there, if the passion is there, uh, the rest will happen. So uh, again, a, a very important lesson is just to enjoy the act of making photographs. He states that the act of photographing is like a combination of this spontaneous impulse or kind of like a gut reaction you get, followed by a uh, thoughtfulness. But very importantly, as he states, the latter must never replace or obscure the original motivation. And that original motivation is just what you see in front of you. You get, you know, you get a gut reaction of something, and you go for it, and you make that image. And then maybe later on, as you're reviewing the photographs, is when that starts has has impact for you and makes sense for you. It's interesting how he mentions that his childhood companion was solitude. Solitude. He says, I came to accept it and the pain it gave me to the point where I ended up seeking it. You can see it so clearly in his images, the feeling of solitude. Let's just look at this image here, how he has a solitary uh, person here in this grand landscape and throughout the whole book here you can see examples of that one thing you'll notice when we go through this book is that many of the shots were made with the same what looks like the same lens and from from what I've read about Jean-Luc Cf he loved to use a 21 millimeter a very wide angle lens even for portraits uh, and I think a lot of that is him wanting to wanting to get some of the environment. He loved the, the portrait, but also to capture that environment and having a, a broad depth of field, like, in, like many of the images you'll see here, he was able to get, generate, it was his way of generating more of a story, creating a story in his images. Uh, 
And it also has this feeling of up close and personal. You know, when you're photographing with a wide angle lens and you're making a portrait, you need, you have to get up very, very close to that person to get, to have that person get, uh, fill up a good part of the frame. And it, it, it really adds a sense of intimacy to, to portraiture. You really knew how to use that lens and that's, that's another lesson I think. Have a simple setup one camera, one lens, it can really force you to really explore that combination to its fullest. You start to understand a particular lens or a way of working that really can improve and strengthen creativity. Because I think today, especially today, when we have so many choices, and I think when you can minimize the way you work, keep it minimalistic and simple, and you'll be amazed at what you learn about that combination, what kind of uh, new photographs you make, and how that can help to improve your photography. There's two amazing examples, some of his fashion work. There's a real sense from Jean-Luc C.F.'s images that he absolutely adored women. Uh, beautiful, beautiful images of women, soft, ethereal. Of course, he's, he, these are fashion photographs, so he's selling clothes, but he's really selling more than that. He's selling a feeling, and that's and you really get that feeling when you look at his work. Power, simplicity, and composition. This was made in 1963 in New York for Harper's Bazaar. Again, these two images are really great because they show his real command of uh, composition. Uh, you know, even if, whether he's zooming in on a particular body part, like a hand here, this is really beautiful. It's called Hand on Hip, shot in 1964. Well, thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed this first uh, video uh, in this series, Lessons in Photography, A Study of the Great Masters. And uh, I hope to be bringing you many, many more. Uh, once again, this is uh, Jean-Luc C.F., uh, 40 Years in Photography, a book by Taskin. If you're interested, uh, seek it out in your local bookstore or online. I think it's a great book and one I'm really proud to have on my bookshelf. So uh, looking forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks and take care.